nerds and weirdos of the internet, welcome back to another video of me talking about problematic people. You know those vegans who will throw a fit over you eating a chicken sandwich? Or the ones that call themselves quote animal activists, but knew nothing but bully anyone who isn't vegan? You also remember that short video I made a while back on that vegan Nazi- I mean teacher? That vegan teacher? You know, the Karen that mocked someone who may or may not have died because of her misinformation and used the BLM protest to justify her mocking them? If not, you're not missing much. I'll reiterate it throughout the video. Well, she is a hell of a lot more problematic than I thought. The video I made on her was just only scratching the surface of how problematic she actually is. In case you missed my last video on this person, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a description of who this lady is. That vegan teacher is a popular creator on TikTok with over 1.4 million followers. I don't know if these people buy into her bullshit or follow her unironically. Regardless, that's a lot of people to spread a toxic narrative to. One of her most popular videos is of her standing in front of restaurants like KFC and McDonald's of all places with a ukulele and singing about how you'll go to hell if you're not vegan. Three, two, one, sing! Eating animals is wrong, KFC hurting animals. She's also known for just being overall a shitty person. She has made fun of so many random people for just being normal people. She also completely invalidates people's drama in a way that fits her dumb ideologies. More on that later. I can't even begin to comprehend how insensitive you have to be to do something like that. Even Onision isn't that stupid. Oh wait, yeah he is. This is my vegetarian body! Anyway, let's just start off with her being just overall annoying. As previously mentioned, one of the things that this lady is known for is singing. And unfortunately, she does that a lot. She also sings about how if you're not vegan, you're not going to heaven. I wish I was joking. Yes, God! I'm trying to deliver your message! I know! I know, but I was just about to turn the camera on and then the devil came and broke my zipper! What the fuck do I do? Okay. Okay, I I'll try. I'll try. Hold on. If you want to get to heaven, be better be vegan. If you want to get to heaven, be better be vegan. If you don't believe me, do you want to bet? Hmm? Because God has a message for you, and here it is. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? Hmm? Be better be vegan! Okay. Yeah, it worked. Sort of. I don't know. Okay. Free vegan food? I'm coming right away! editing me here, uh, there's something I forgot to mention that is kind of important for the next little segment that I'm going to be talking about. Um, this bitch says that God was vegan and heaven is vegan. Bitch, no. Here's a video to show proof. Heaven is vegan. But what is heaven? Can heaven also be right here on earth? Yes. Heaven is a planet that is cherished. Heaven is a place where all the animals and the humans are treated kindly and where we all try to cause the least amount of harm. Do we need religion? Religion can be good, but it also can be bad. I change my religion many times a day. And no, it's not a joke. I take what's best from each religion that I know of. Sometimes I decide to be Muslim in the middle of the day and I go down on the floor and put my head down and pray. Who am I praying to? I don't know. To the better God within me, within all of us. Be better, be vegan. Start now. Has this woman never read the Bible? Ever? Even though she claims to be Christian? I haven't went to church in almost two years. Two years! And before that, I hadn't went to church like five or so years before then. Yet, I have pro I've I think I've read the Bible more than what this lady has. And it's really saying something because I didn't pay attention at all. Does this lady not realize that, I don't remember if it was God or Jesus, but one of them ate fish. 
They, it literally mentioned in the Bible that they ate fish. Like, does this lady not know how to read? This, I'm so fucking confused. This lady dumb. Now, to kind of break away from religion a little bit, let's just talk about her overall shoving her ideologies down people's throats. Now, her singing in front of these restaurants wouldn't be that big of a deal if she wouldn't also be spreading misinformation about the meat industry. Now, that wouldn't be that big of an issue if she didn't also do the other stupid shit she does. Like spread misinformation about the meat industry in the process of doing said singing. She claims that animals are forced to reproduce and raped against their will. When that is not true. But with that being said, even though the meat industry isn't as bad as she makes it out to be, there's still some aspects that need to be changed. As an example, chickens are often kept in really small spaces and are often overcrowded to the point where they barely move. And they're overfed to the point where they can't even lift themselves up anymore. Now, I would understand her doing this if she'd advocate for things like that, but no. All she does is spread harmful misinformation and hurt others. Also, just as a side note, if you make a video about her, there's about a 90% chance she'll make a video about you in response, calling you a hypocrite. Because, you know, that's how you do things. There's an indigenous group of people that live in northern Alaska called the Inuit tribe. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. If not, please correct me. Because of where they live, it's really, really expensive to ship food up there. So, they have no choice but to hunt for food. Well, for most of their food. They hunt things like bowhead, whale, and seal. And obviously other things, but those two are the most commonly known. Keep in mind they do this legally. And and they use every bit of the animal, so none of it's wasted. And just as a side note, bullhead whale is a protected species, and it's not endangered, so they legally can hunt them. They will often use the skin or the hide of these animals as clothing to keep themselves warm, because, you know, they live in northern Alaska. Keep all this in mind as I show you what that vegan teacher did to a random Inuit girl who was just embracing her culture by showing off her new fur coat. Fur belongs on beautiful animals, not on heartless humans. Go to WatchDominion.com. Notice how she completely disregarded her culture? Now here's the original video. This girl did absolutely nothing wrong in this video. She isn't hurting anyone. She's just embracing her culture. But Karen just had to make a video about it. She does shit like this all the time. Which brings me to my next point. This is just a trigger warning if you get triggered by anything along the lines of either rape or sexual assault, discrimination, and if I forgot something, all listed on screen. Being completely honest, this is what fires me up the most about this woman. She will take someone's trauma and completely twist it in a way that fits her narrative. She will take a video of someone talking about a traumatic experience they've had and disregard the point of the video completely and say something stupid like, no one should have to go through this, but it doesn't matter because this person eats meat. I wish I was joking. For context on this next clip, John Robert Bell made a video talking about another video where someone was getting sexually harassed and during that video, he's talking about the word consent. And what does Karen do? Does she A. Understand the video, didn't say anything, and went about her day? B. Completely ignore the video? C. Make a video going off this point and adding on to it in an educating way? Or did she D. Make a video disregarding the point of his video and misuses the word consent to say that animals are raped without their consent? If you pick D, you are correct. Let's see if I still have the video saved. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Except your trigger warning was complete bullshit. Unless you give your audience a full 10 seconds to think about what you just said and swipe you away before you bombard them with information that's going to hurt them, it's completely useless. I would be like me saying, catch, 
and I throw this ball at you before giving you a chance to put up your hands. You understand? I know it's hard for you to be quiet, John, but next time you give a trigger warning, wait a full 10 seconds before you speak. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Count to 10, John, and consider this to be a trigger warning for you, because if you think that consent applies to humans and not animals, you need to come back to ethics class. Watch Earthlings, Dominion Movement, and Cowspiracy before you respond to this video. Be better. Be vegan. This Neanderthal, this troglodyte, this musty, dusty, crusty dinosaur, whatever word you see fit, completely disregarded what the meaning of consent is and used it in a way to fit her fucking narrative. That narrative being, oh, if you think that humans can give consent and animals can't get wrong or whatever the fuck it was. Like, get your head out of your fibrous asshole and realize that the, that the world doesn't revolve around you. I know you think that you're this godlike figure, but fucking stop, you're not Onision. <laughs> she has made countless videos on John. And I will probably make a video on all of her videos regarding John. There's just that much. That vegan teacher and John have been having a bit of a battle against each other for the past few months now. Anyway, just to step back a little bit, the fact that she has done this multiple times in order to spread her ideologies is honestly just horrific. It's ridiculous. She's an actual troglodyte. You can't just misuse the word consent like that. It's people like her who make victims of abuse afraid to come out and open up about their stories because she invalidates them. She is, in a way, mocking abuse victims by doing this. Which brings me on to my next point. Now this was my main talking point in my last video on this human dumpster fire, but I'm going to touch on it again in case you are too lazy to go find it. Well then again, I'm going to try and leave a link somewhere to, the, to that video, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to speak the English language properly, apparently. Oh my god. Your friend died trying to be vegan? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh my god, what did he eat? What did he eat that killed him? Was it a banana? A carrot? Was it broccoli? Oh god. Maybe it was dates and figs? Was it soy milk or tofu? Oh my god, he died, eh? And you tried really, really hard to make him eat meat, yeah? Shit. But did you try hard enough? Like, did you take him and just, like, force him down and just say, Man, you gotta eat this dead pig! You gotta eat this bacon to save your life! Did you do that? You know? Did you, did you make him eat a sausage? Did you, like, shove a chicken wing down his throat? I don't know if you tried hard enough, man. Go see my last video on her to see my full reaction to that clip. If I remember, I will try and leave an iCard thingy in the corner. Here. If I don't, literally slap me in the face. She preaches that anyone and everyone can become vegan. Oh boy, there is so much wrong with that statement. If only she had brain cells. What do you need and what do you want? Things that you need are things like water and food and shelter. The basics of life so that you don't die. Things that you want are things like to be able to play video games and to be able to paint your fingernails and to wear makeup and you know, things that basically involve spending money for frivolous things. So how is our world in such a mess? People don't understand the difference between things that they want and things that they need. People freak out and say that they need things. Kids have temper tantrums, but so do adults. When are we going to become a compassionate society that thinks about the needs of others and the next generations and not just our own selfish desires? What the next generation needs is clean oceans, clean air, and a sustainable environment. To get that, we need a vegan society. Do it now. Not everyone can be vegan. There are some people, like me, 
who can't digest all plant-based food properly. There's some that I can, but most of it I can't. I really have to have meat in my diet. Plus, bacon's good. I mean, <laughs> and yes, I did have to say that. And she also says, if you're not vegan, you're selfish. Her saying that makes her selfish. Not to mention the fact that she looks like she is legitimately dying from malnourishment. Does she not know how to use Google? Like, is it really that hard? Like, I will be willing to fact check you at this point. Like, <sighs> anyway, some people can actually legitimately die from trying to go vegan. Their body just can't absorb enough nutrients through plants alone. And a lot of the times, their bodies just reject it. They literally have to have some animal products in their diet in order to be able to absorb the necessary nutrients in order to survive. Because, you know, not everyone wants to die. Also, does she not know that people with feeding tubes exist? Like, not all, but a lot of those people who have to eat through a feeding tube rely on a milk-based, cow milk-based formula in order to be able to get the nutrients they need because their stomachs can't physically break down, quote, real food. Not to mention the fact that people with calcium deficiencies also exist. And they also rely on cow milk to get the calcium they need. Also, fun fact about people with feeding tubes, a large portion of them, not saying all, but a large portion of them, have that feeding tube, and please correct me if I'm wrong, they have that feeding tube because their stomach is legitimately paralyzed and they can't digest anything properly at all. So yeah, they exist. If none of the previously mentioned things can get her deplatformed, this should. She is very, blatantly disrespectful towards minorities and the LGBTQ community. She's also a MASSIVE hypocrite about it too. She has stated multiple times that coming out as vegan is more intense and scary than coming out as LGBTQ+. You're absolutely wrong. Coming out as a vegan animal rights activist, as somebody who cares beyond themselves, is much more special than it is to come out as a member of the LGBTQ community. Coming out as a member of the LGBTQ community is an entirely selfish act. It's talking about you only. It's not talking about the things that you're going to do to better the world. Coming out as an animal rights activist is talking about the animals, others, not just you. In fact, it is a completely unselfish thing to do. Yes, I'm not saying it's easy in different societies, different religious backgrounds, but if you're in a religion that treats you badly, then just change religions. We've been over this before. But look at my comment section. Think of how terribly vegan animal rights activists are treated. Not just me, all of them. Do better. Be kind to those who are being kind. Be vegan. Hi, editing me. Uh, so I was just taking a break from editing. And I was scrolling through TikTok because, you know, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> God, I need a life. Anyway, so I follow a guy named Ethan Drace. I suggest you go check him out. He's actually really entertaining. Anyway, he did a thing for Halloween, him and two other people. And, well, of course that vegan teacher had something to say about it. Roll the clip! As a vegan and a member of the LGBTQ community, I would like to call out Ethan Trace once again for his very bad behavior here on this app. The first thing he did is he tried to get me banned, which obviously didn't work, because he called everybody to submit all kinds of videos to TikTok showing that I was racist and homophobic, which is actually laughable because they couldn't find anything. Ethan, what I don't like that you did here though is you danced to this song here that has the words, it's okay when it's in a three-way, it's not gay when it's in a three-way. What this implies is that if you guys have sex together, the three of you, that's okay, because the two men are not really gay. But if it was just the two of you, that would be not okay. Which one of us is homophobic? Me, who's bisexual and part of the community? Or you, who thinks it's funny to sing in that song? And here is Ethan's response. But if it was just the two of you, that would be not okay. Which one of us is homophobic? Oh, you should have kept your damn mouth shut on that one. Those of you who don't know, for Halloween, me, Clay, and Kat dressed up as Andy Samberg, Justin Timberlake, and Lady Gaga from a song The Lonely Island Day called The Golden Rule Three-Way. She's attacking me for lyrics that they wrote that we lip-synced to for that song. Now trying to say that I'm homophobic. 
Well, let's open that can of worms. I do realize everybody on TikTok knows I'm one of the biggest LGBT allies here, right? Second, this was a comedy song written by three celebrities who are very pro-LGBT. So it's very clear, in addition to being a bully, you also have no sense of humor. You really walk around talking a lot of shit, acting like you're some kind of hero in the story, but guess what? In reality, you're just a villainous coward who likes to bully people and hide behind a limited comment section. Anyways, everybody on this app knows I'm a comedian, and they all appreciated that video because it was a good piece of nostalgia. I'm not the one who told LGBT people in sexual assault victims that they're gonna go to hell if they don't become vegan like your suffering is way worse than theirs <laughs> okay ethan did not have to go at her that hard but you know i'm appreciating it i'm here for it you know ethan is a great content creator and all but god dang can he roast so if there's anything to take from this it's one you don't fuck with ethan or john and two Literally, how dumb can you be? Last time I checked, vegans aren't killed or beaten as, when they come out as vegan. They aren't kicked out of their homes and disowned by their family for being vegan, and they don't get discriminated against for wanting to marry. She's basically pulling a blatant metaphorical middle finger to minorities and those of the LGBTQ plus community. Now going back to John Bell. He made a video coming out as bisexual. And instead of congratulating him for coming out as bisexual and accepting him for who he is, she, as a person, his literal person, does this shit. Hello students, it's Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. Yesterday on October 19th, a man here on TikTok named John Robert Bell decided to tell everyone that he was bisexual. This means that he falls in love with or is attracted to a human inside the shell of a body, not necessarily only women or only men, but it also doesn't mean that he's promiscuous and just ends up going out on dates or having sex with all kinds of people. It just means that he is attracted to the general person. Now this is great news because this is exactly what animal rights activists are like. They understand that cats and dogs are the same as pigs, chickens, and cows. They don't discriminate. So hopefully, he will be vegan soon. Let's see. Okay, I have one big question. Why did she sound confused the whole time? Why did she sound very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Being completely honest, she sounds uncomfortable throughout the video. Did she really have to add the part where she talked about, oh, that's how animal activists are? Because what purpose did that hold? And also, why did she describe bisexuality like that? <laughs> she said it as if, like, some bisexuals fuck pigs and animals or some shit. Like, lady, no! As a bisexual human myself, I can confirm that, no, I don't fuck animals because... What? Ew. I'm not Shane Dawson. And also, being completely honest, she sounds like she's gonna murder John in his sleep. Especially right there at the end. Like, <laughs> what the fuck even is this lady? Not to mention the fact that she pulls the, oh, I have a black cousin or black friend or whatever, therefore I can't be a racist card in the dumbest way possible. I also talked about that in my last video about her. Think of it like if someone tried to use it in the third person somehow. I realize that doesn't really make sense, but I'm going with it anyway. And when people call her out on it, she's like, oh, I didn't do this. I meant this thing that completely contradicts what I originally said. Nobody is telling you to force yourself to be straight. Don't try to twist my words. I am saying that it is okay to be part of the LGBTQ community and that everyone should strive to be vegan. All of you people who talk about being oppressed should understand that you are also the oppressors. You are oppressing the animals every single time that you pay for hamburgers at McDonald's, chicken wings at KFC, any other things that are on your plate that involve dead animal parts. If you are choosing to buy cow's milk instead of soy milk, you are part of the problem. You are an oppressor you don't like to be treated badly, then don't do it to the animals. Start to be better. Be brave and be vegan. Also, 
just to throw this out there, in the video where she's mocking someone who may or may not have died because of her, she uses the Black Lives Matter protest to make herself look like a better person. I went on a tangent about it in my last video on her. I don't want to go through that again, so I'm just- go watch that video if you want to hear about that. <laughs> this video is already freakishly long. Actually, I think this is the longest video I've ever made. Okay, so watching all these videos, I've started noticing a pattern. Not a good pattern. That pattern being, she claims that she uh, supports those who are oppressed and minorities and all that jazz. But she does a really shitty job showing it. It's like she uses other people's problems, like let's say the Black Lives Matter movement, as a way to give herself personal gain. As a way to further spread her narrative in the worst way possible. If you are willing to take these people's hardships and their problems to make yourself look better, you are a shitty person. You are a literal human dumpster fire that deserves to be thrown into the fucking sun. On top of all that, she completely disregards the fact that non-binary people and non-binary pronouns exist. Here's an example of what I mean. Hello students! Today we're going to continue our series Cognitive Dissonance and Hypocrisy, especially as it applies to this young lady here, somebody who thinks that it's okay to pay for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals. This young lady states that it's not okay for dogs to be vegan. But of course, we all know that that's not true. Dogs can be vegan. Dogs are thriving all around the world right now who are vegan. Why? Because their owners do not want to pay to kill other animals. And so, if they have a choice between buying vegan, completely healthy dog food, or another brand, why wouldn't they, right? So why does this lady not just buy vegan dog food for her dog? Well, the answer is she is deep into cognitive dissonance. That would mean she would have to admit her own guilt for eating the flesh of animals. She doesn't want to change her habits, and so she can't admit this to herself. Be better, be vegan, and start now. Okay, the amount of times that that vegan shit face misgendered this person throughout the entire video. This person is not a her, this person is a they. They might present themselves as female, according to you, but that shouldn't fucking matter because they identify as a they them. What does it matter what they present themselves as? Why does it matter if they look a certain way or not? If their pronouns are different than what you are saying they are, then you're misgendering them. You're invalidating their entire fucking existence. This person is non-binary. Get it fucking right. Also, this is funny. This creator that she's misgendering is one of my favorite creators, Probably a Monster. That's their legit username. Probably a Monster feeds their animals, their pets, a raw food diet. A raw food diet is probably the best diet you can give to your pets. Well, your cats and dogs at least. Wanna know why? Because their digestive systems are legitimately made for that shit. More on that later. And also, she can't use the excuse of, oh, I didn't know they were they, them. Because you can just click on their profile, their username, and see in their bio that they go by they, them. Fucking idiot. That vegan degenerate claims that she supports all those who are oppressed. But when it comes to people who are actually oppressed, like indigenous peoples, people of color, in the LGBTQ plus community. When it comes to that, if they're making a video explaining problems within one of those communities, she'll basically turn that shit around and bash them because they're not talking about veganism. In what world does that make any sense whatsoever? To give you an example of what I mean, have this. I think schools need to start teaching more LGBTQ history, but I'm not gay, so I don't really see why I have to learn about it. Are you Jewish? No. Yet you learned about the Holocaust. Are you African American? No. Yet you learned about slavery. Do you identify as female? No. Yet you learned about women's suffrage. 
See, history affects all of us, whether it's directly or indirectly. It's not fair for someone to pick and choose which pieces of history are important to learn about. Plus, learning about LGBTQ history would not only help people of that community, but it'd also teach people how to be better allies. Well, it's against my religion. Funny you say that, because so is murder, slavery, evolution, yet you have no problem learning about those in history class. <gasps> oh, I get it now. Your toxic masculinity is so fragile that it makes you uncomfy. Shut up, snowflake. Whoop, there it is. Okay, do you see the issue here? This person is talking about something that isn't talked about enough, honestly. And I 100% agree with them. I personally do agree that LGBTQ history should be taught in schools. But that's not the point of this video. Or this segment, rather. Notice how that vegan teacher put text over it talking about how he should be talking about veganism and she mentions hypocrisy. Like, what the fuck, lady? I hate to tie your panties in a bunch, but... Not every creator on TikTok has to talk about issues of, like, veganism and animals and whatnot. No one has to. There is no legally binding contract saying, oh, you have to talk about veganism and whatnot. Ow, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> My question is, why can't she just leave people be? Like, he, was, he wasn't hurting anyone. He was just being kind of funny while talking about how we should talk about LGBTQ history in schools and how people would react. I find that entertaining. But no, she had to take time about, out of her life and make a video about it saying he's a hypocrite and that he should be talking about veganism instead of this. Like, what the fuck? I just want to know what planet she's on because it ain't... It, there's no way in hell she's on Earth. <laughs> this makes no sense at all. She's so fucking deluded that she can't even comprehend the fact that the world does not revolve around her. The world revolves around the sun, not one single person. Also, not once did he mention veganism. Not once did he bash people for talking about veganism. Not once did he give a reason for that vegan teacher to make a video about him. I just want to know what pinball is rolling in her mind that makes her think that she's doing the world a good thing. That made no sense, but you know what? I'm leaving it in there. Why does she think this is a good thing to do? Just why? People can do whatever they want, but let me ask you this. If you knew that somebody was racist, would you want them to stop being racist now or to gradually stop? If you knew that somebody was homophobic, mean to gay and lesbian people, would you want them to stop right now or just take their time and gradually stop? If you knew that your neighbor was kicking his dog, would you want him to stop now or would you want him to just go on, keep doing it for another few weeks? If you know you're going to end up being vegan, just be vegan. That's it. Just stop eating all animal products. Stop buying them. If you have something in your fridge, okay, finish that. But stop buying them, okay? Go to howdoigovegan.com. Now this, this just doesn't make sense. She says she uses racism and animal abuse as an example of why you should go vegan now, which those two don't correlate with veganism at all. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that veganism is much different from racism and, anim and animal abuse. Like I've mentioned before, not everyone can go vegan because their digestive system just can't handle it. With that being said, if you want to go vegan, you do you. I'm not going to stop you. But for most people who want to go vegan, they have to do it. They have to introduce it to their diet slowly, or else their body will go into shock of some sort. Because with a vegan diet, that's a lot of fiber. That's like mostly fiber. Now that I say that, I wonder how often this woman shits in a day. Oh God, that's not what I meant to say. I mean, it is what I meant to say, but not the way I meant to put it. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> You can't just 
instantly go vegan just like that. You have to introduce it to your system slowly or else you will have the liquid shits for a month straight. Okay, maybe not a month straight, but it will be a long ass time. And also, why does she keep going back to racism and homophobia and animal abuse as a whole? Like, why does she keep using that as an example? None of those things are even remotely similar to veganism. Just, what is wrong with this lady? Like, that video is just more proof that she doesn't know what she's talking about. She will use anything and everything to make herself look better and to spread her toxic narrative. She will use other people's issues to spread her narrative. That's not good. That's not a good thing. That's not something you should be proud of. That just makes you look like a bigot and a piece of shit. Okay, before I talk about this, I need to make one thing clear. I will be using some of Probably a Monster's videos. And yes, I did get permission from them. Here's the DM and here's proof. <laughs> Now I'm designing this section in here because I think it's kind of funny and it kind of proves how egotistical this woman is and how dumb she is. Now before I continue, I am very well aware that I'm probably going to get some rude or confused comments, but I don't care. It bothers me, so yes, I need to talk about it. She forces her diet onto her dog. Yes, you heard that correctly. Dogs and cats physically cannot digest a vegan diet. Their digestive systems can't handle it. Their digestive systems are meant to digest and break down meat. I'm going to say that again. Their digestive systems are meant to digest and break down meat. Giving your dog or cat a vegan diet will literally kill them. She's abusing her dog and encouraging others to do so also. Well, how can I be so sure that probably a monster is a credible source for this information? Well, funny story. They have multiple dogs, which they feed a raw meat diet to. And they are the healthiest they can be. Their vet recommended they be on a raw food diet. Why? Because it's best for their dog. They even feed their cats raw food when they can. Why are their dogs as healthy as they can be? Because they're eating a species-appropriate diet. Plain and simple. I know you're talking about Bramble, and I hope you realize that Bramble was only on a vegan diet for seven years. That means Bramble survived for only seven years on the vegan diet. And I know you're not forgetting about Maggie and Bluey, who actually hold the record for the oldest living dogs. If memory serves correctly, Maggie died I think at like 29 and Bluey died at 30. Those dogs were fed a species appropriate diet for their entire life. Seven years has nothing on 29 and 30 years, baby. Honestly, it should be listed as a criminal charge if you force a vegan diet on your cat and dog. Especially since cats are obligate carnivores, and you're literally fucking killing them. Honestly, my personal opinion, I don't think vegans should have a fucking animal if they're gonna do that shit. Keep your personal views to your fucking self. Don't force them on someone that can't consent. Y'all can't advocate for animal rights when y'all violate them every fucking day! Once I own a pet well, my own pet, and get a sustainable income, I will be giving my dog or cat a raw food diet, as long as I can pay for it. It's the best diet for them. And I ain't arguing with anyone in the comments about that, just do a quick two minute Google search. It's not that hard. Now, with that being said, if you wanna throw a couple of vegetables here and there in your pet's food, go for it. It's actually kinda healthy, cause there are some nutrients and vegetables that dogs and cats need that aren't in meat. But with that being said, don't feed them only vegetables and fruits or whatever. Let me reiterate, you can give them a, few, a couple vegetables here and there, as long as the food is mostly meat or kibble. Just have it as like a hypothetical side dish. Or just throw it in with their food. And if you want to be vegan, that's fine. Just don't force it onto your pets who can't handle it. Here is proof that dogs and cats aren't meant to have a vegan diet. Okay, take a look at this diagram and how long the different digestive systems are. More specifically, the large intestine, no, small intestine, my bad. 
Look at the comparison between a human and a pig first. A pig's digestive tract is much, much longer than a human's. Because for a pig, they eat nothing but like grass, hay, whatever. I actually don't know the complete diet of a pig, but fiber. <laughs> they need a longer digestive tract to be able to break down everything and absorb it all. Humans, because we're omnivores, we have a kind of medium-sized digestive tract because we eat both plants and meat. Now look at a dog's digestive tract. Notice how it's really short and really small? That's because their digestive tracts are made to absorb meat, which doesn't take that much to break down and digest and absorb. Now look at a sheep. See how freakishly long that is? That's because their diet is mostly grass. Grass! They need a really long digestive tract in order to break it down and absorb all those nutrients. Because it takes longer to break down fiber and shit. <laughs> Dogs' digestive tracts are made for meat. Now don't get me wrong. It's okay to feed your dog a couple of vegetables here and there as long as it doesn't kill them. Because there are some nutrients and vegetables that your dog can't get from meat. With that being said though, do not feed your dog a vegan diet. For the love of God, your do you're gonna kill your dog. Hi, editing me here. Uh, so I wanted to put more of probably a monster's videos in here. But for one, this video is already long enough as it is. And two, my video editing software is not liking me. And, um... Just, there's a couple other issues that I'd rather not go into right now, but those are the main ones. Although, all of my video editing software is letting me put one more. Well, it's trying to at least. I don't know if it's gonna be laggy or not. If it's not in the video, just assume that I cut it out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, before I forget, here is proof that probably a monster feeds their dogs meat. Hello everyone, probably a monster here, and uh, today we went to... A international store for groceries to get things for our dogs that we can normally not get in our local grocery store we had to travel two and a half hours to go there and boy was it worth it we got a shit ton of meat and I even found quail eggs and I've been wanting to give my dogs these we got some turkey gizzards we got chicken heart we got beef heart beef kidney, beef kidney. we even got testicles and tongues we we got we got some meats. It's for both our cats and our dogs. Oh my God, Rhaegar! But I'm gonna give this quail egg to my doggies. They each gonna get one. It's quail egg. Nummy. Oh, you dropped it. Puppy's getting it. Moral of the story, that vegan teacher needs to be deplatformed. She has caused so much harm to people. Now, I can understand what she's advocating for if she didn't spread misinformation constantly and harass people about it, but again, I made this video to show how bad of a person she really is, and why she should be off social media. And I know there's a bunch of things that I missed, but this video is already long enough as it is, and if there's something you feel like I should talk about, Feel free to leave it in the comments. And there's a high chance that I'll most likely make a part two, because I know for a fact that there's some stuff I missed. And just to clarify, if you want to go vegan, go for it. You do you. I ain't gonna stop you, and I ain't gonna judge you. And the only reason why I would judge you is if you're like this bitch. That's the only reason why I would judge you. I'm gonna end the video here before my brain turns to mush more than what it already has. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hi, editing me again. Um, yeah, I didn't expect this video to be as long as it is, but I hope you enjoyed regardless, because it took almost a month to edit. There went my finger. Yeah, I apologize for it being as long as it is, but, you know, I'm proud of it. It needed to be said, and, well, it's about time I 
publish some form of longer video. That didn't make sense, but I'm going with it anyway. I don't really know when I started the editing process, but it is now December 15th. I think I started sometime in November. I'll put on screen if I figure out when I started. But yeah, this is the longest video I have ever made. God, it took forever. And now my brain feels like it's been shoved in a blender on high speed. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else I should talk about down in the comments because I'm running low on ideas. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow my social media. I'll have it up on screen, if I remember. If I don't remember, literally smack me in the face. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!